Hi and welcome back. So one of the supplements I've been asked a couple of times to cover is sulforaphane. It is available in foods. It's also now available in supplement form. In this video, I'm going to cover the benefits of sulforaphane, the dosages and also some of the side effects and also where you can now buy sulforaphane from. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's all learn about sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is a natural plant compound found in many cruciferous vegetables, such as Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage and cauliflower, and has been linked to certain health benefits, such as improved heart health, digestion, and it may help improve constipation and protect against sun damage. In this video, I will review sulforaphane, including its benefits, possible side effects, food sources, dosage, and where you can buy it now as a supplement. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Sulforaphane is a sulfur-rich compound found in cruciferous vegetables, such as Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cauliflower, and has been shown to provide powerful health benefits. In these foods, it's in its inactive form of glucoraphanin that belongs to the glucosinolate family of plant compounds. Sulforaphane is activated when glucoraphanin comes into contact with microcinase, a family of enzymes that play a role in the defense response of plants. Microcinase enzymes are only released and activated when a plant is damaged. Therefore, cruciferous vegetables must be cut, chopped or chewed to release microcinase and activate the sulforaphane. Raw vegetables have the highest level of sulforaphane. In one study, it was found that raw broccoli had 10 times more sulforaphane than the cooked version of broccoli. Steaming vegetables for one to three minutes may be the best way to optimize sulforaphane levels when cooking. It's best to cook the vegetables below 284 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 140 degrees centigrade, as exceeding this temperature results in a loss of glucosinolates. For this reason, it's best to avoid boiling or microwaving cruciferous vegetables. Instead, eat them raw or lightly steamed to maximize their sulforaphane content. Sulforaphane has been shown to have anti-cancer properties in a number of test tube and animal studies, reducing both the size and the number of various types of cancer cells. Sulforaphane may also prevent cancer cell growth by releasing antioxidant and detoxification enzymes that protect against certain carcinogens. It's worth bearing in mind that these studies used a concentrated form of sulforaphane, so it's unclear whether the amounts found in fresh food will have the same effect. It's also still unclear whether sulforaphane could be used in a clinical setting to lower cancer risk and reduce cancer growth in humans. That said, population studies have linked a higher dietary intake of cruciferous vegetables like broccoli with a significantly reduced risk of cancer. Both test tube and animal studies show that sulforaphane may boost heart health in a number of different ways. Sulforaphane may benefit heart health by reducing inflammation. Inflammation, as you know, may lead to the narrowing of your arteries, a major cause of heart disease. Research in rats also indicates that sulforaphane may reduce high blood pressure, which may also prevent heart disease. Now, despite these promising findings, more research is obviously needed to determine whether sulforaphane could improve heart health in humans. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease that affects millions of people worldwide. People who have type 2 diabetes cannot effectively transport sugar from their blood to their cells, making it difficult to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. A 12-week study in 97 people who had type 2 diabetes examined how consuming broccoli sprout extract, a daily equivalent of 150 micromoles of sulforaphane, affected their blood sugar levels. This study found that sulforaphane effectively reduced fasting blood sugar levels by 6.5% and improved their hemoglobin A1c scores. These effects were particularly strong in participants who were obese and who had 
poor diabetes control. A study in 29 young men with autism found that a daily dose of between 50 and 150 micromoles of sulforaphane for 18 weeks improved symptoms of autism like social interaction and verbal communication. Studies also suggest that sulforaphane may protect against ultraviolet skin damage that's caused by the sun. In a four-week study into 48 adults eating 20 grams of sulforaphane-rich broccoli sprouts improved symptoms of constipation. No effect was seen for people who ate alfalfa sprouts, which are sulforaphane-free. Moving on, let's take a look at side effects and dosage. Consuming sulforaphane found in cruciferous vegetables is considered safe, with very few, if any, side effects whatsoever. These supplements are typically made from broccoli or broccoli sprout extract and are generally concentrated, meaning they contain more sulforaphane than what is naturally found in the food. While there are no daily intake recommendations for sulforaphane, most available supplement brands suggest taking around 400 micrograms per day. Mild side effects have been associated with sulforaphane supplementation. Conditions such as increased gas, constipation and in some instances diarrhea. As you may know, when I look for supplements to compare, I always look for companies that I believe to be reputable. Renew by Science don't offer sulforaphane as of yet, so today I'm only going to look at donutage.org and Pro Health Longevity. Let's start by taking a look at Pro Health Longevity. They offer 30 600 milligram capsules from Neurobiologics, so no first party control over this product, and for that they'll charge you $38.05. They say each capsule contains 60 milligrams of sulforaphane glycosinolate per 600 milligram capsule, and they say that's double the potency of other available formulas. On the website, you can't see the back of the capsule, so you don't know what other ingredients are there. So what is the other 540 milligrams made up of? The label also states professional grade, as we know, this is marketing hype. There's pharmaceutical grade, food grade, and animal grade. So they are trying to mislead customers, I think, possibly yes. So for the active ingredients, you're gonna pay 63 cents per milligram. Let's now take a look at donotage.org. They offer 60 200 milligram capsules for $49. Each of their capsules contains 200 milligrams of sulforaphane glucosinolate. And with this company, you can see the back of the package before purchasing. So for the active ingredient, you're gonna pay 24 cents per milligram. That's 39 cents per milligram cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. But as always, you can add the 10% MyNMN discount code to that, and that then becomes 22 cents per milligram. So do not age the org is 62% cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. This also blows their second marketing boost, the first being professional grade of double potency of other available formulas right out of the water. As with their NMN, Pro Health Longevity, unfortunately, are the most expensive option. Well, I hope you found it interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you're looking for a sulforaphane supplier or perhaps looking to change your current supplier, I hope you found this helpful as well. As I've said, Renew by Science don't carry this at the moment, but if they do, then I will make an update video fairly shortly after they start to carry it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you do take sulforaphane or if perhaps as a result of this video, you're going to look into perhaps adding it to your stack. 